The Yarra River begins its journey on the southern slopes of Mount Borbore and flows through the Yarra Valley before winding through the CBD of Melbourne and finally emptying into Port Phillip Bay in the shadow of the Westgate Bridge and the Newport Power Station. Before European settlement, the Yarra River was a major form of food for the local population, the indigenous Wurundjeri people. And our job today is to see what's still swimming around in the CBD. Douglas. Now Doug and Ben spent a lot of time fishing the Yarra, so I know I'm really lucky to be on board with them. Pretty lucky today because I've got two guys that know the lower Yarra really well, Ben and Doug. And uh, what's the plan today? Well, Bill, we're going to head up the Yarra into the CBD and check out what's around. Uh, there's usually some surprises up there, uh, mostly black brim, fantastic black brim fishery. Uh, they can get quite large up there. Uh, and then also some of the itinerant species at different times of the year. We can find uh, pinky snapper, silver trevally. Maybe the silver ghost, the Mulloway. Uh, there's a whole range of fish that can come in. I'm sure it'll hold plenty of surprises as oh, well. It I always mean, always does. A lot of people yeah. have no idea just what is swimming around in their own backyard, let alone the CBD of Melbourne. Sure. One of the chances we have up in the CBD on the, the bridge pylons and the heavy structure is to tangle with a big mulloway. Big brim will also test your gear, but nothing tests it like a mulloway on light gear. So I'm going to start by just casting out a hard body and, and checking that all my gear is sound, that my knots, my, my drag and my rod are in good working order, and principally the reel, because that's what I'm going to rely on for a big fish. Yeah, these brims should be on these poles. Bah. You just Work. might be not right with the tide. Oh no, they'll be here. It's just a matter of working which angle they want the lure on and going which way against the tide or with the tide. Nice. Little pinky. The importance of this estuary for uh, small fish development is still even heavily modified. Uh, amazingly important. The gear feels good, the clutch is set, the drag on the reel set perfectly, not too heavy. The rod's feeling good. I reckon we're ready to go. And of course the most important thing for urban fishing oh. is the first coffee stop at Pier 35. Back in the late 19th century, sections of the Lower Yarra were widened to make way for docks and harbours and bridges. And one could be easily overawed by all the choices of where to fish, as there are just so many fish holding structures. So Ben, your job today is to work out what's still in the river, show us a little bit of the fish that are still here, and tell us a little bit about what might have been here 200 years ago why they were such a good food source. Well, obviously it's changed a lot since then, Bill, and it was once a uh, pristine mangrove uh, estuarine uh, system. It's now heavily modified, but basically the same species uh, that existed in the river back then can be found today. And you have things down in the lower reach of the estuary here where it meets Port Phillip Bay, such as flathead, black brim, silver trevally, Australian salmon, uh, small pinky snapper. So it's a real smorgasbord still and the importance of this area to the, the Wurundjeri people as a food source uh, and as an important gathering place uh, today is still an important place for gathering food and that's a remarkable thing. So our plan today is we've fished, started fishing at dawn and we're going to run up with the tide, up the river. 
Um, so, got a good moon, probably a couple of days before full moon, and a good tide, early morning tide running up the river, so we're just gonna get a pretty neat half day up until about 2 p.m. It's gonna be ideal conditions up this river. And the most important thing is because it is an incoming tide, and we haven't had a lot of rain lately, the brown muddy Yarra is actually gonna be a lot clearer than what it normally is. Now these boys just love fishing soft plastics for brim. And one of the best is simply the super tough Z-Man grubs combined with a TT jig head to match the depth you're fishing. It's perfect. The city of Melbourne was established on the banks of the Lower Yarra in 1835. And since then, the landscape of the river has changed dramatically. There are literally hundreds of man-made fish holding structures here now, including major bridges, jetties and docks. Remember too, this Lower Yarra is Australia's busiest port and speed limits are strictly enforced. Ben, I'm getting excited. Right in the middle of Melbourne, mate. Here we are. This is the, all this structure, all these bridges, over, well, I think, 17 bridges in this lower section, and that is where all the brim and all the other oh, fish live. Certainly. Yeah. So we're, yeah. we're in office hours at the moment. This <laughs> is uh, gentlemen's hours, as they call it. We're going to poach some fish right in the front of Crown Casino. We will, yes. Cool. We're going to get under here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you have to be careful sometimes if you've got the rods in the rocket launches. The bridges are pretty low, depending on the tide yeah. as well. And we're seeing a lot of fish. I mean, your tactic today is to go right up. Yeah, we'll go uh, up we're and just, fish We're back. just running past fish. We're seeing these brim on these bridges all the way yeah. up. So, so what, what will happen is we'll be up for the turn of the tide. Very old bridge. Some of these bridges have been here since 1860. Yeah. They've been holding brim for 150 years. <laughs> so, of course, when you come up here, you don't just fish, you can actually stop for lunch and there's public berths for four hours. So you can tie up and pop in the crown for a hot dog or something a bit more substantial like an Italian meal, sit down. Something I like to do occasionally when I'm chasing the fish up here. This is amazing. <laughs> We're just driving past all these fish. I can't believe it. This is a new, brand new tactic for me. Oh, this is fantastic urban fishery here. So and we're just going to go right up. Yeah, we'll, and then we're we'll, going to come we'll back. We'll head to the top bridge, Pump they, Road Bridge. They better still be here. Oh, they will. <laughs> and then as the tide turns, we'll fish back with the current. Mm. And of course, How under the bridge this? here, there's a cafe we can order lunch from from the water while we fish. Catch brim. You can and have a cafe can. on the water. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you're boating on the Yarra, you need to be super aware of all the other boat users on the Yarra. Most importantly, the rowers and the water taxis. I'm getting a bit jittery, Ben, a bit impatient. Well, it's a, it's target a, reached. It's a long journey, but uh, we're above the Swan Street Bridge now and the target's in sight. I can see just up ahead of the McKillop Street Bridge here is the Punt Road Bridge, the famous Nilex sign, gotcha. and our target for the uh, start of the event. And we're just going to fish all the way back. We will, with the outgoing tide. Brilliant. So the trick with bridge fishing is to line up with the bridge and cast along and as close to the structure as possible and bring your lure back at the depth that you think the brim are at. We're in about three metres of water, so I like to have a number of casts to work out where the fish are. Go. Got him. Bill's in. It's a brim, good fish. Good brim. Well done. That's nice. Let's see if we can take him out. Oh, he zapped you. He got you. What happened then? The brim got under the lip of the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of the bridge structure must come right out about probably two metres down. Straight in under the bridge and gone. Good fish too. Rig up again. Got him. Turned his head and went straight back under. He went under. He 
got me on the on the drop. Got his head back under the bridge, under the pylons. Gone. So I'll go a. Uh, TT headlock jig in the heavy gauge hook. One thing about some of the big bridge blue nose brim is they'll crush a hook if it's too light gauge. But I want a light jig head, there's low flow conditions, and I want the plastic to just flutter down the wall. They should pick it up on the drop. So what we've got here, we've got a big school of fish, all stacked one on top of the other. We don't know what they are. They're just sitting in the middle of the bridge here, down on the bottom. And Ben's saying, we're still at slack water, we just need a little bit of tide movement, they might come on the bite. Righto, here we go. Got him. Good one. Brim. Brim? Yeah. Got him. It's only a brim. It's not a bad one though, it's good. A little, little, little brim. Oh, it's a size fish. Oh, well done, Bill. That's a wonderful little brim. There you go. That's a beautiful little fish. Got him? Yeah. We'll get the... Uh... That's a nice little fish there. Beautiful condition. Absolutely wonderful looking fish. Well, that's it for the Hoddle Street Bridge. Saw some really good fish down deep, so that could be good but now moving back down with the tide through the CBD and hitting all those bridge pylons that we came through on the way up. We'll get better sized brim off this bridge. Good. I'll go down and we'll fish up. If it, whatever, yeah, unless you want to work into the wind. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one into the other side of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good fish. Good Those fish, Bill. That was really... Oh, that's a good brim too. Well done. That's a yeah, bit... tentative. That's a Melbourne fish. Look at this. This is a cracker. <laughs> yeah. You like that, do you? Oh, it's fantastic. Look at that fish. Oh, well done. Hey, lovely, mate. Oh, Bill. Thanks for that. There we go. Good fish. On that little Z-man. Little grub, little... Bloodworm slim swim. Bloodworm, yeah. Excellent. Fantastic fish. Well, let's get him back and see if we can get his big brother. Oh, they're there. They're there. Oh, Bill, well angled. Another good fish. Running like oh. you wouldn't believe. It's up on top too. Oh, look at it there. Oh, it's a bigger Bottom fish. surface, yeah. It's a great Bigger fish. Bigger fish, all right. Oh, that is a fantastic. He's even getting the white chin now, this bloke. Oh, oh it is in the oh, net. lovely. Again, another great example of CBD. Yarra, Yarra River fishing. brim, yeah. Obviously, there's a crack and load wow. of brim in these, uh, in these waters. He's inhaled that. He's inhaled that. Blood worm. Yeah, yeah. Z man. Yeah, nice little fish. Good stuff. Well, I reckon you need to get onto the uh, soft plastics, mate. The I think, I think that's the way. Yeah. Lovely fish. Yeah. So I've got another little brim. I've poached off the pylon here. It's a nice little fish. I'll just lift him up. And that's not a bad little CBD brim there. Gee, they want the lures, don't they? Beautiful condition. I'll put him back in the water. Oh, fantastic. What a great example of CBD bridge fishing in the Yarra River, Melbourne. Stacked with brim, fantastic. Got me, bit me off again. Oh, 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 Bell, in. It's got him. Well done. That's a good fish. It's got him. Ooh, oh, that nice is a good fish. fish. Yeah. I tell you what, this is the best fish of the day for you. 
Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's not bad. Here we go. It's not bad. That's you like that one? I tell you what, five of those in one of the brim tournaments here. We'd be on the game. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> and the tactic we're using, obviously, we're trying to cast parallel to the bridge pylons and you get it close as you can down on the bottom. Thanks, mate. Well, that is actually a bit better than what I've been getting. This is a good, very on good fish and he's hooked beautifully. <laughs> those beast. jaws, how tough are they? Oh, don't put yeah. your finger inside that. Do not put your finger inside that. The jaws on the brim are unbelievable, really. Like they can, they're a, a very opportunistic omnivore. They will eat just about anything. Crabs, and, and, prawns. And when you watch them crush, shells yeah. muscles and muscles do yeah. not put your finger anywhere yeah. near that pointy end interesting thing with these yarra brim is their teeth in these fellas are still sharp yes so they're obviously not feeding on mollusks and and um hard uh hard um oysters no, and all that soft baits. they must be just eating on soft bait at the yeah. moment yeah no, yeah. they are, and, uh, and that's what that's what they are feeding on. And mm. feeding on as we've driven up and down the river today we've seen school after school of bait. Yep. What a wonderful thing to have in our now very clean Yarra River. Well, su surprising how clean it is. Compared yeah. to yeah. years ago. I'd say these guys are probably feeding on shrimp, which is why this Grub Z, three and a half inch grub, is working so well. Down on the bottom, just slowly bring it back. Well, there you go. Best brim of the morning for me so far. Swan Street Bridge. Got two or three there. Let's go down to the CBD, see what we can catch there. So I've gone the little 2.5 inch grub here in amber, and we've picked up a nice brim off the back pylon. Whoa, there he goes. So a wonderful Z-Man grub colour for the Yarra or for any water. And the beautiful action of the grub tail. Perfect. <laughs> I made him earn that one. Nice little fish. Thank you, Doug. Nice little uh, black brim on the amber. 2.5 inch Z-Man grub. What a beautiful little fish. Fantastic. There he is. Oh, come on. Eat it. There he is. All right. Yes. Oh. oh. Got him. Got him? Yeah. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah. Saw him flash. Yeah. Nice size. Nice fish, too. Oh, Ben. Best brim of the day. Oh, that's not a bad oh, fish. That is not a bad fish. <laughs> that is an absolute great fish for the yarra. And we're right, right in the middle of Melbourne now, eh? That's fantastic. How's that? And look at his blue nose, eh? And he's just inhaled oh, that he grub. Has, hasn't he? Might Absolutely need some pliers, inhaled though. it. Eh? Beautiful fish. So a nice black brim. He's absolutely inhaled that. Oh, he's biting down on the pliers. Just get the hook out. Now, interestingly, he's got a, a well-worn set of teeth, so he's been munching the coral or amphipods. That's a, a cracking fish. Wonderful little brim. So we'll put him back. There you go. <laughs> oh, tangled with a big blue nose. You do it. Yeah, there was a 40 rolling here. Big one. 
Jeez. Just had a bit of big slack brim. on it. Big brim. And it's just it's just swum straight in and around. Them's the brakes. Big fish though, well over 40. So they're here boys. The side fish that one, that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> got a ram. Oh, he got me. That was a big one. Now the first thing you've got to do when you get here is actually have a look at the structure. So we're just going to roll up under the bridge here and have a look on the side scan and see if we can see some fish there. If we can't find fish, we're going to move on. If we can find fish, we're going to work out how to catch them. Oh, he's a better one, this one. He's got a good head Bring on around him. this side here. He's got get a good head on him. him. Oh, yes. Get this one, I reckon. Oh. Easily the best brim of the day. Actually, I'll let you grab it out. Oh, thanks, Bill. Hey. That's a lovely... By far, the best brim of the day, and it's just inhaled that grubs oh, as well. Oh, yeah, that... that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Beautifully Good healthy fish, fish eh? the, the shoulders and the head, starting the blue nose. They're getting sort of size there. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, it just goes to show you, you never know what you're going to catch in the Yarra River. The lower Yarra down here, right in the middle of Melbourne, it's as good a brim fishery as you get anywhere in the state. Oh, fantastic. One of the amazing things about these brim is their longevity. They live to at least 20 years old. So this guy, I don't know, probably eight, nine or 10 years old. And I guarantee you, if you caught a fish in the Yarra here that's 20 years old, it'd probably be well into the 45, oh, maybe three to 50 centimeters and up to two kilos. So there's a challenge for you. That's it. And of course it is a fishery that we really should should value and look after yeah. and uh, as far as I'm concerned should be catch and release. Yeah sure. Yeah I'll let you let it go mate. Thank you. There he is. Got him? Yeah. Oh nice one. Uh, good fish. Nice fish. Go go go. Have a yes. look at that. Estuary perch. Oh. Well, we wanted to have a look at what sort of fish that exist in the Yarra. And this oh. is what a, fish. a large mouth <laughs> estuary perch. You happy with that? Oh, I'm happy with that. Is I mean, that the first perch you caught here? No, it's not the first, but it's the biggest. The biggest? So it's a PB for the Yarra. Good on you, mate. Excellent. A one in a million fish for the CBD in Melbourne, but an example of just how healthy the, the Yarra is up here and <laughs> what's on offer. Fish. And then we travel a long way normally to catch S3 perch like this. Nice, nice and a little bit of silver in it too. Beautiful. Not as bronzy as you normally see. The them. shoulders very healthy. Yeah. Oh, and away. Now, if you're fishing for Mulloway in the Yarra River in Melbourne, this is what you need to look for. What you've got to do is fish the bridge pylons. In this case, we're right under King Street Bridge, right next to the Crown Casino. We've got the boat right up next to the bridge pylon, and we're side scanning in underneath. And those big fellas are actually Mulloway. They're big, big fish. A lot of the time in side scanning, you just get little dots, small fish. That's a big school of Mulloway marked up right there, middle of Melbourne, CBD, in the Yarra River. What's happened here is where you find one mile away, you're going to find a whole heap of them. There'll be a school. So we've come back in. We've just located them again. They're really timid. They're actually lift biting. So yeah, yep. You just you just feel them picking up the grubs. Yep. That's the shot. That is the shot. Fantastic cast. You see them on the sander now too. One, two, three. Marking up really well too. Lots happening too, and it's really difficult to fish. We're pretty lucky today because we've got Doug just working the electric motor on his own and not fishing, which is very, very good for Doug because normally he'd be in the, up here elbowing us out of the way. Big fish are always frustrating, and Mulloway are probably the most frustrating of all the big fish that you're going to catch in the Yarra. 
They'll just bite really soft, really just touch it like a brim, and it can be six to eight kilo fish. We know why they're here, because there's bait all through this, uh, this bridge area underneath, so just need something just to turn them on. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes. That's a good Scotty. fish. Now, good Doug, one. that's a proper one. Oh, he's got me. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. He's got oh. me. No, it's a... Oh! Yeah. No, 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 we need to be upstream on me. Doug, 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 upstream. He's got me around the pylon. He's gone. Sorry. Panic station's big there. Malloway. Big fish. This is a big fish, not a brim. Yeah, I've got him. And He's it's coming. it's just gone down through the pylons. What you're seeing here is seeing the top structure of the bridge, but below it is just pylons. This fish has actually swum under these big concrete structures. Let's just... No, straight, Doug, straight. Straight down the middle. Oh, he got me. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Mulloway, probably about 10 kilos. Yeah, he was about that. Yeah. Well, five pound brim leader. It's always going to be tough in this situation. It's a big battle, isn't it? Always going to be tough. Oh, well, mate. Rig up. Go again. <laughs> oh, well. That's how catching big fish on light tackle sometimes ends. So bridge fishing on the Yarra is where it's all at. And part of the challenge is working the structure and of course, not getting knocked out of the boat. Good one. Oh, me too. Oh, oh. He's a cracker brim. What have you got? I don't know. It might be a bit bigger. Oh no, he's a pinky. A pinky. Have a look at that. Can you get yours in? Oh. Hey, well done. Oh, there you go. Beautiful little fish. The Yarra again, our third, fourth species maybe? Snapper. Yeah, that's awesome. wonderful. And look at this brim, that's a, that's a nice brim. Both on soft plastics, little three and a half inch grub. Yeah. Two and a half inch grub there. Z-Man on the TT head, perfect combo. Awesome. You got one on, Doug? One here. Well, you're lucky. Last fish of the day. And I got the first. That's a nice brim. Let's get him in there. Oh. Well, mate, there you go. Good finish to the day. The lower Yarra, full of brim. So, Doug, that's a great day. Great. Thank day. you. You've shown me just what the fishery in the lower Yarra is like. It's, it's a just wonderful amazing. fishery, Bill. Wonderful fishery. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm now going to go and have a look and see what I can catch in the middle Yarra. Excellent.